Hey, what's up, everyone? So, Arc Age has been a mess for the last like three days, four days with the Aurorian launch. Uh, this will probably go down as the day where Tryon actually killed their own game. They killed Arc Age because of mismanagement, because of how they have launched Aurora, because of introducing Hasla Tier 2 and Tier 3 into the game too soon, too quick, killing off the crafts. So we have a ton of angry players. We have players that are quitting in faction chat and like raffling off things and giving things away. Uh, we have a lot of like threats on the forum saying they're quitting. And a lot of people, I would assume, are quitting and unsubscribing. And I'm sure there are some that are just false, falsely, angrily venting and saying they're going to quit. But really, I mean... It, the try and screw this up so fucking bad that it it is not even funny. So for those that don't know, uh, probably about 50% of the population could not get into the game uh, when Aurora launched. There was a hack shield issue preventing them from getting in. So you could log into the server and then you'd c select your character and then it would disconnect you instantly from the server. And you could see that a good majority, like I said, there's no definite numbers on this, but you can see that, uh, that the servers only said up, and they never say up. They always say hi or Q. Uh, they never say up, uh, especially during peak times, and especially right after you know updates and such like that. So this was right around 2.30 Pacific Standard Time that the servers went live, and... The servers, they constantly just said up. Sure, there were thousands of players that did get a login. Uh, it did work for some, and some of the people did have a successful restart your computer and actually fix the problem. But for the majority of the players, they were stuck there for over 12 hours waiting for trying to actually do something, and they couldn't do anything. So they had to call, had to call, uh, you know, Excel Games, figure out what the hell they're doing. And they come to the conclusion that it was a hack shield issue, and it took them, you know, over 12 hours to actually fix this and release a patch. And there's still, even today, this is day two, that there still is a few people, I don't know exactly how many, but cannot log into the servers, and that still cannot play thanks to the hack shield issue. So this is a major, major issue because you only have one chance to get a castle you know the castles got taken up here on our server two of them by legacy and then one by delusion and one by eclipse so the, like I said a good majority of the population missed out and then all the housing has already been claimed it was claimed within probably five minutes of the castles actually going down because a lot of people took my advice and stayed in stealth and hid around there and just rapidly placed their houses as soon as the castles went down. So everyone that was not logged in or got disconnected, because some people got in, but then they got disconnected and they couldn't get back in. Um, so it was a complete clusterfuck of mess-ups and screw-ups by Tryon. And there's no way to fix it because the, the time for fixing it has already passed. They should have taken down the servers right away and figured out what the heck the problem was instead of letting them run up throughout the entire day and they're just saying screw you people that can't get on and we're gonna let the people that can get on have a huge advantage and have a lot of you know, a lot of fun up in Aurora and then everyone else they're just screwed and fuck you we don't give a shit about you that's what they said and that was just plain wrong and so that rubbed so many people the wrong way and you know Vince definitely Vince on the forums I've sent in customer complaints uh, you know, make a better business bureau complaints. A lot of people are doing refunds and chargebacks and going through PayPal and their credit card companies to get their money back because Tryon is a fucked up company and they have screwed over so many players that they have probably the worst MMO reputation in the world right now. And there's no game in the future that I will personally play from Tryon. And uh, the only reason I'm going to still play Arc Age is because I still have a good setup down here. Uh, there's nothing else interesting out there to play to pass the time. But as soon as something else, you know, comes out, I'm out of Arc Age. Arc Age is crap and dead to me. Uh, 
but yeah, we will still be playing. We will still be doing guides and tutorials and shit like that. But Arc Age is pretty much a crappy game, and I do not recommend anyone playing Arc Age. So, have fun.